Hey guys, how's it going? It's Adam Bonnet, aka The Glider, coming at you with another video. This time it's a little different though. I'm going to do a Q&A video. I posted on my social media feeds about if anyone had any questions in general in regards to paranormal, my life, no limits, conquering things, anything that they might have wanted to ask. And we got pretty good results on that. So let's go ahead and take care of the questions, guys. Okay. Number one, Fawn asks, what place have you been in that you felt the most paranormal presence from? And also, what is your dream fishing trip? Fawn, that's a good question because every place that I've been to has been good places. I've had activity. Uh, each one has its own niche. Uh, it's hard to really pick one individual place. So... I guess to answer that question, it would kind of be actually all of them because I've had activity in every place pretty much that I've been to. Something's happened. Somehow, something little, some something, you know, it ranges large. So it's a hard question, but hopefully I kind of threw an answer out there for you. Second part of that question is, what would be my dream fishing trip? I love fishing. So I guess it would be anything that would consist of, I, I'd love to go charter fishing. I've never did that. I would love to. I would love to go out and catch something gigantic. You know, that would be amazing. So I guess it would be kind of charter fishing or something to that effect. So cool. Okay, our second question would be from Cody. What is one paranormal experience that has stuck with you the most or the toughest one to shake off? <sighs> Cody, that's a good question. I've had quite a few experiences in my time as a paranormal investigator. I would say seeing things mentally in your mind that you seen with your eyes. What I mean by that is I've seen things like I've seen apparitions, I've seen faces. Um, I can't describe what I saw, but it's all up here, you know. It's it's stuck up there. You know, you can't really describe it, but you know what you you've seen. So, you know, that's that's what I would probably go with, and it's hard to not visually imagine that often. You know, once you see it, it's it's kind of, it burns that little thing in your brain there. So it's, you know, it's pretty much it. So, all right. Number three. This is from Danielle. There's, it's a two-parter. What's the biggest obstacle you faced while investigating? And also your favorite person you've got to meet in the paranormal community. Danielle, that's a good question. My biggest obstacle I believe that I've faced while investigating is, you know, with being in the wheelchair. Um, a lot of these places that you investigate are not very handicap accessible. But, you know, like, like I say, where there's a will, there's a way. You know, you can conquer it. Um, I got friends that take me upstairs. I got friends that take me to places within these facilities, you know? So, I mean, it's it's nothing for me to be there and somebody's like, you wanna go upstairs? And I'm like, eh, I don't, don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. Next thing I know, I'm either thrown over someone's shoulder or else they're pulling me backwards up the steps. So, I think that's probably the biggest obstacle I've faced. Um, favorite person that I've met in the paranormal community I meet a lot of people uh, I do a lot of speaking so I get a chance to be at a lot of big named events and have the chance to speak there which is awesome I've met a lot of famous people uh, I've met a lot of 
TV celebrities from the paranormal shows, um, just in general, a lot of horror, um, paranormal celebrities, you know, it's, it ranges, um, I don't really have a favorite, you know, I mean, if we're thinking favorites, you know, I could go with all my friends that's in a paranormal, you know, those, those are good people, you know, good friends. That's the thing with speaking too, is you could meet a lot of different people. And eventually, you know, the paranormal community is close knit. So everyone is friends and that's a good thing, you know. So favorite person, I don't really have a favorite person, just all my friends, all the new people I meet. Um, that pretty much sums it up. It's pretty awesome. Met a lot of good celebrities. Um, a lot of paranormal people I've met that are awesome. So, hope that answers your question there. Okay, the next one. Alan, if you could investigate with anyone, living or dead, who would it be? Alan, this is a funny question. Because I'm a jokester. Um, I like to joke around a lot. So I believe that if I was to pick one person that I could investigate with, I would probably go with Dan Aykroyd. The reason for that, he's funny, he's outgoing, he would be fun to investigate with, and obviously he's he's a Ghostbuster. So I mean that's that'd be awesome. That's how I'd roll. So that's pretty cool. So hopefully I'd answer your question there. Next question, Kurt. What are some of your thoughts about the urban legends of the area? And do you consider yourself more on the debunking side of investigation or trying to confirm? Thoughts about some of the urban legends. I believe some of the urban legends are myths. Um, I believe in some of them. I believe in Bigfoot. Some people might not. I do. I think it's kind of cool. You know, there's too many parts of the world that's not been investigated. Um, the ocean itself, the jungles, you know, so who says that something can't be there, you know? They're still finding, you know, things that they thought was extinct. So it's, anything's possible. But some of the urban legends, I believe, are a little far-fetched. You know, it's just my opinion, but hey, what do I know, right? So, and then, do I consider myself more the debunker or trying to confirm? It's a good question, Kurt. I believe in debunking, but I also believe in confirming. So... I've debunked a lot of things that I thought could have been paranormal. I've debunked a lot of things that I've seen that people have asked me about. Um, but then another aspect of that is confirming. You know, if confirming it is what we're all about, you know, it's something that we all want to know is what is the unknown. You know, if we can confirm something that is unexplained, that's great. It's awesome. So, it's pretty sweet. All right. Our next question is from Bethany. Do a fishing series. All my son does is watch fishing videos. He would love it. So, what's your favorite lore and why? Bethany, I love fishing. That's for sure. I've done my fair share of fishing. I've fished tournaments, I've fished a lot of local lakes, um, it's one of my favorite things to do to unstress. My favorite lure, I love using plastic lures, plastic worms, I love wacky worm fishing, it's awesome, caught a lot of fish on plastics in my life, so, you know, that's, to me, that's the way to go. You know, there's a lot of people believe in spinners. A lot of people believe in jerk baits. You know, I think that uh, you can catch a lot of fish on plastic. So, I definitely am a plastic. 
Okay, next question would be from Shauna. When you're investigating locations that are multiple stories, do you not wonder what activity is on upper levels? It would drive me crazy to not go everywhere possible on an investigation. Shauna, that's a good question, but like I was saying earlier, I do go upstairs in particular places um, where there's a will, there's a way. I've been thrown over shoulders before. I've been pulled up steps backwards. And it's kind of cool because generally the areas that with being in a wheelchair investigating in the areas that I do, I still find activity. So somebody might come downstairs and be like, upstairs was on fire. I'd be like, yeah, I just had that down on the lower level here. So it's, it's pretty awesome. So, you know, as long as I can pan out and get activity down here and somebody else getting it upstairs, that's awesome. You know, that's, that's just kind of cool. So anyways, guys, that's my Q and a hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment below, let me know, contact me on social media. If you have any questions, I'll put the links in the description below. Check out my page, check out my videos, like, comment, subscribe. This is Glider. I'll catch you later, guys. Tower roll.